Hi, I'm Steve from Foiling Magazine. I'm here at AWSI with Gary from Ride Engine. And Gary, I'm really excited about the accessories that you guys have for us wing foilers. And uh, I'm particularly curious about uh, the harness. I haven't actually seen it myself, but can you take us through your, your line of, uh, of exciting stuff here? Here for wingers. Absolutely, Steve. So we're well, super... not just wingers, actually. I know we can all uh, prone foilers and everything. Yeah, so, yeah, yep. yeah. No, we are super stoked on foiling, prone foil surfing, obviously kite foiling with our kite background. And now with the wing foiling thing, we're ultra stoked. So we're really passionate about making high performance, high quality products to make that wing foiling experience way better and have everyone progress a lot faster. So you're right, we do make a harness. Which I'm is excited because I feel like everybody's been kind of DIYing the harness and uh, you don't have to, right? Absolutely, and actually DIYing's a great way. We actually have a product that is supports the DIY oh, nice. movement, which is called the Nug. Right. So this is the hardest thing for when you're doing your DIY right, project right, right. is to figure out how you're gonna actually make a harness line hook. So right. we have this. Right. It hooks onto any piece of webbing, yeah. you know, one and a half inch, two inch. It cracks open so you can put it on. So someone can go to Home Depot and get their get their webbing, right? And uh, and get, get the nug. And, Absolutely. Yeah. Or if but of course, it's not that pleasant experience, right? So that's where this comes in, right? Absolutely. So then we go into our fully built harnesses. We have two of them right now, the Vinaka and the Vinaka Pro. The main differences between the two are definitely the flexibility and the stiffness of the harness. So the Vinaka is a very soft harness. It does give you a lot of back support, relieves the point loading overall, um, and gives you a nice rest on your arms. You know, if you're having Absolutely. to chop, chop up wind a bunch, if you're on a super long session. You're Both of those things, by the way, because I feel like you can go further upwind on a harness. I'm, I, I don't know the math of why, yeah, yeah. but I, I really feel like you're able to point yeah, better. Yeah, no, you, know. you can point up wind better because you obviously, when you have now three points of connection between right. your hands and your wing, you know, you're getting close to being a wind surfer at right, that point, right? right? Yeah, but yeah. you can edge the wing forward in the wind window, exactly, which is gonna yeah. drag you, make you point better. Um, but some of the cool features on this is we have the nug comes with this. We have a stop block here. The reason why we have a stop block is say all of a sudden you're out winging, the wind dies, you have to go on an epically long paddle. You can lock the nug over to nice. the side. Yeah. So you're not laying on your harness hook mm -hmm. or the harness hook keeps how falling does it, back. How here. does it come in and out of that? Yeah, so you just, a little bit of pressure. So you just oh, pull sweet. it right over it. Also, it keeps it in place when you're all done. So you don't lose this component right. overall. And we have a lot of variation of how far the nug slides right, over. Right, right, like so, when you're toe side. Yeah, exactly, yeah. so when you're toe side. We did the both dance there, right? Yeah, like, like, pretty good. Um, and again, this is a softer version. We have a nice neoprene lycra laminated lining on it. So it's really comfortable if you're in trunks, um, stays in place. And uh, yeah, for sure, awesome. I, you know what I always say to the wing, the the wing yeah, yeah. It's not if you're gonna use a harness. It's, it's wing, uh, for sure, no, man, because it, it triples your water time, you know? Absolutely. I mean, come on. So let's look at the Pro if you don't mind. Yep, so the Pro, is the next level of support. Oh, sweet, yeah. So you know Ride Engine has a history in hard shell harnesses. We are the innovator for the kite and the wing surf hard shell, or wind serving hard shell. So this incorporates a bit of that technology with a pre-curved But the, the word board. hard shell is kind of, uh, you know, is overselling it because it still feels very comfortable, you know? Absolutely, so the hard shell, the way we put this in here with the pre-curve, into this thermal formed EVA liner. Right. What this is doing is it's just taking the pressure and dispersing it across your entire back. So it's not point loading, it's not pulling in as much. And again, you just have a nice comfortable experience. You can hang out a lot longer in your harness, hooked into your, into your harness hook. And then when you come down to the features, same as the Vinaka, we have the nug that has the lock off and the full slide on awesome. the webbing a single closure D-ring to hold the oh, harness nice. in place yep. nicely. And then we also put D-rings, you know, on both of them, including on the Vinaka. We right, put it, for leashes and, yeah. Exactly, awesome. and we kind of leave it up to the customer to figure yeah. out what they want to do. Yeah. I don't know what I want, I, board leash, you know, wrist leash, yeah. waist leash, you know, I'm still changing all the time. So, yeah. I think we're gonna put a leash attachment That's on right. yeah, eventually, yeah. so yeah. So what else you got for us here? Totally, so the next thing, obviously you have to have harness lines. We build harness oh, nice. lines for every type of interface out there, whether it's a boom, 
pigtails, right. hard handles. We have three different harness lines that will easily connect to any wing out there on the market. You know, so we're your resource for that yeah. if you need that. The next thing I wanna show you guys is our protection. So okay. protection in water sports is a growing category yeah. for sure. Um, especially with the foiling, because right. now you're just not worried about a board, you're worried about your board, you're worried about this foil that's underneath the board that's hidden until you crash and it pops up out of the water. Plus you got other environmental things going on because now you have a foil underneath you, you might get in too shallow water, you hit something, go head over heels. For sure. So now where protection in the past, I would say was like kind of delegated to the beginners. Now it's every level of rider right, out there. For you sure. know? So a helmet, and an impact vest is now kind of standard operating yeah. uniform for that foiler. So one thing we make is the Defender HF vest. So HF stands for hydrofoil. So this is a specific hydrofoil nice. vest for all genres of foiling. So if you're a prone foil surfer or even if you're a wing foiler and you have to go paddle a bunch, we have the placement of the impact protection and the flotation strategic. So it's nice and comfortable if you're nice. one of those epic, epically long paddles. The key feature of this though, is we have a little bit of hard shell technology in strategic areas that say you scissor over on your foil. Now you have, feel that. Yeah, oh yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So now you have some hard shell yeah. protection on there, not just a piece of foam, right. but you have something that's gonna disperse that energy yep. and actually protect you. That's it's kind of like skateboard kneecaps. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So strategically placed overall on the back, torso, side of the torso, so anything that you get hit with the rail of the board, the nose of the board, the point of your fuselage, the tip of your wing, you're yeah. protected. You're protected. And then I see, I see the same thing with the harness, which is pretty exciting, I think, because this is a problem. You know, existing impact vests, they're made for wakeboarding, they're made for wh or whatever you use them from, but they're this long and you can't strap a harness around that. So absolutely, you, you solved that for us, it yep. seems. So we integrated into a what we call lower float impact vest. So it is, con you know, Confidence inspiring, so it gives you a little bit of float with the nug and a slider. So yeah, nice. What's really nice is, you're right, you got an impact vest and a harness in one. We do have a nice plate in the back, nice, so yeah. it does disperse the pressure yeah, from great. the harness yeah. line. So you can but ride it's still longer. pretty darn low profile, you know? Absolutely. Awesome. And if you do get hit by the board or you scissor over, you do have a little bit of protection yeah. there and padding to, to help you out. The awesome. other thing, we just don't make stuff for guys. So we also make the Defender HF for oh, nice. women also. So off a of women's silhouette, which is a little bit shorter in profile through the, the upper torso area and also in the arms and in the gussets. Yeah. So it fits perfect because you want your impact vest to fit perfect. Awesome. Else might not be that good. Awesome. Yeah. Well, so, thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to get all right engined up here. So we'll have to kick you out. Yeah. Thank you. Thank uh, you so much, Gary. Appreciate no problem. Yeah. Have a good one.